Indian national song Vande Mataram. The song was composed by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee in 1876 and it was first sung by Ravindranath Tagore in 1896. The first two verses were adopted as the national song of India in October 1937. The national song Vande Mataram also pronounced Vande Mataram played an important role in the Indian independence movement. It was sung in a political context by Ravindranath Tagore at the 1896 session of the Indian National Congress and became a popular marching song for the political activism and Indian freedom movement in 1905. The song and the novel containing it Anand Mat was banned by the colonial government but workers and the general public defied the ban by singing in public and getting imprisoned spiritual indian nationalist and philosopher sri aurobindo referred it as national song of bengal on On 24th January 1950 the constituent assembly of India has adopted Vande Mataram as national song of India the first president of India Dr Rajendra Prasad stated that the song should be honored equally with the national anthem of India Janagana Mana the lines of the song Vande Mataram Sujalam Suflam Malayaj Shitalam शशि श्यामला मातरम वंदे मातरम शुभ्र ज्योत्ना पुलकित यामिनी पुल्लकुशुमित द्रुमदल शोभिनी सुभाषिनी सुमधुर भाषिनी सुखदा वरदा मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम दीज आर द लाइन्स ऑफ द नेशनल सॉन्ग ऑफ इंडिया The English translation of the stanza rendered by Sri Aurobind Ghosh I go to the mother richly watered richly fruited cool with the winds of the south dark with the crops of the harvest the mother her nights rejoicing in the glory of the moonlight her lands clothed beautifully with her trees in flowering bloom sweet of laughter sweet of speech the mother giver of boons giver of bliss some notable facts about the national song vande mataram has inspired many indian poets and has been translated into numerous indian languages such as tamil telugu kannada malayalam assamese hindi marathi gujarati punjabi urdu and others the first political occasion when it was sung was the 1896 session of the indian national congress as discussed before Another notable fact about the national song in July 2017 the Madras High Court ruled that the Vande Mataram shall be sung or played at least once a week in all schools universities and other educational institutions of Tamil Nadu the court also ruled that the song should be played or sung in government offices and industrial facilities once a month our national anthem underlines the importance of india as a diverse nation it signifies that despite differences in culture traditions religions and languages india is united under one flag our national anthem is the feeling of pride for every Indian citizen It evokes the true sense of patriotism in the heart of the people making them remember the sacrifices of our great freedom fighters and leaders All of us have sung the national anthem many times and stood up every time we heard but Do we know enough about our national anthem other than it was written and composed 
by the great Nobel laureate and great poet Rabindranath Tagore. Here are some interesting facts about our national anthem. India's national anthem, Jana Gana Mana, was originally written by Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore in 1911. The entire song and music of the anthem was composed by Rabindranath Tagore and was first sung on 27 December 1911 in Kolkata. In 1911, the session held by Indian National Congress in Kolkata on 27 December became the first location where the song was sung publicly and Tagore sang it himself. It was written in Sanskrit Tatsama, Bengali language and was composed as a poem in Bengali as Bharato Bhagyo Vidata by Rabindranath Tagore. The national anthem praises the rich cultural history, unity in diversity, geographical and spiritual essence of our country. Chana Gana Mana was officially adopted as the national anthem by the Indian Constituent Assembly on 24th January 1950. The national anthem has five verses and the duration of playing the full version is 52 seconds. The national anthem of India is sung on various occasions such as hoisting of the flag, school prayers, national festivals, etc. The national anthem is often sung across nation in Hindi. It was also translated in English language known as The Morning Song of India by Rabindranath Tagore on 20th February 1990. The proper guidelines have been issued from the government and the Supreme Court of India which should be followed while singing the national anthem. Every citizen of India should stand respectfully while the national anthem is being played or sung on any occasion. The national anthem serves as a symbol of unity among its citizens as it is sung with patriotic spirit by people from different communities. National anthem is definitely one composition which makes every Indian feel connected with the country. This one composition has a tremendous power to fill every Indian with feelings of patriotism and deserves all the respect.